you want to go out somewhere with me? No. Well, maybe we can go to the movies or something. Oh my, you're like a needy little baby. I don't want to be seen with you. Get out. Hey, um, I was going to go to the mall or something. Do you want to go with me? Uh, I'm kind of busy. I could take you to Taco Bell too, my treat. I'm your only friend, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. Sad. Yeah, I'll go with you. Cool. Hello? Thanks for watching, Riley Ma. No problem, but are you really going out dressed like a GTA stripper? How do you know what GTA is? Your father's therapist told him to play it to let out some pent up aggression. Eat my bullets, motherfucker! Yeah. But don't worry, you don't have anything to worry about. You don't have a dateline face. A dateline face? Yeah, you know the girls that always end up on dateline. The smile always lights up a room. And they're always so nice and could stop traffic with their good looks. So you're saying I'm ugly? I'm saying the only traffic that you're gonna stop is divorced men in the 50s driving by looking for a good time. Thanks, Ma. Goodbye. Hello, my little Ravi. How are you? Mom won't let me watch Law & Order anymore. Oh, well, that's understandable. Yeah, because that show is all fiction. You need to be watching true crime like Dateline. Will we, okay? Yeah, you gotta learn how to not trust anybody early because you... You got a Dateline face. Nice place. Yeah, totally. Oh my god. What? It's that guy from the other night that I told you about. The one that... Yeah. And then he... Yep, that's the guy. Okay. It's it's fine. Oh, oh, okay, so if what he did is fine, then I guess second degree murder is fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna What are you gonna do? Kill him with a spoon? I can try. Shut up. Sit down. Seriously. Let's just pretend he doesn't exist. Fine. Great. And we could do that by making him simply not exist. Chris. I'm just gonna talk to him. No. I'm just gonna talk to him. No, you're I'm just not. gonna talk to him. Chris, seriously. I'm just gonna unalive him. Wait, what? What's up, you waste of oxygen? Hey there, Mom. What are you throwing up? It's like 3 a.m. Um, um, the only excuse I'll allow for you waking me up at 3 a.m. is the fact that it's the witching hour and you're either already possessed or the demons figured out that you're already one of them. It's 3 p.m. Oh, what? Oh, I don't even remember going to bed last night. Are you experiencing an amnesia gap? What? No, how do you know what that is? That's what Detective Benson on Law & Order said the murderer experienced before she killed her husband. Why are you watching Law & Order? You woke me up last night and told me to watch it with you. Serious? I don't remember any of that. I gotta lay off the below. That's also what the murderer said on the stand. Okay, we're not gonna repeat anything that happened last night or today to anyone, okay? Fresh start. That's also what the murderer said to her accomplice on the security tapes. Okay, no more Law & Order for you. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I'm so sorry I didn't mean to wake you, but now that you're up, could I ask you something? No, go to sleep. It's like, it's really important. <sighs> what? I hate you. Hey, guess what song I'm humming? Up, Shania Twain. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. You go, you go, you go. <laughs> that was pre that was pretty good. Right? That was good. We should we should start a band or something. Yeah, yeah, totally. We come up with like a really cool band name or something. <laughs> yeah, totally. I know. Totally. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom and I thought it'd be a good idea to spend some quality alone time with each other's kids, so what do you guys want to do? You want to see a movie? 
Bah, maybe. Uh, we could see Space Jam. That is child's movie. Da. What about Fast and Furious? <gasps> da. Uh, no, that's rated like PG-13. You guys are four. But we do have IQ of someone that is 16, so that's basically a pass. Yeah, no, nice try. Fine. We will just tell our mother that you don't care about our family. Fine. I wonder how Katrina's holding up. <sighs> Riley, do you have a death wish? No. You attack from vulnerable points, from behind, not the front. Run it again. Okay. So Jeremy is having a party at his house this Saturday. Amazing. Oh my God, yes. Oh, nice. Oh, what time does it start though? Because I just want to make sure there's enough time to do the weekend chores. <laughs> you know, our parents make us do chores on Saturday morning before we can do any weekend activities. What? <laughs> yeah, never, never mind. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I was thinking that we could get ready at about nine to go to home from the party. Nice, good call, because curfew is at nine. Yeah. To go to the party. <laughs> no, I'm just Josh and his, his parents are gonna be there though, right? No. Oh, okay, but it's a boy-girl party, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's BYOB, so. Oh, bring your own board game. Nice. I just picked up this new version of Catan and Monopoly, so. Oh my god. Ki I'm kidding. I know what B B Y O B means. Great. So do you guys want to sneak out around sneak nine? Out. You know what? I just, I remembered I actually have something that night, so. Oh my Chris, you can either choose to be a loser or you can choose to sneak out and have fun. You know what, Brittany? I choose life. I'm out. Oh, I'm so glad I chaperoned one for Riley's art gallery field trip. They even given away food like they do at the Costco. I'll be right back. Uh, all right, kids. We are in the German artist Gunther's gallery today. It's just Gunther? No last name? And last names are overrated. Beyonce, Cher, Queen. And one name is superior. Queen is a band! Why is this tiny human asking stupid questions? That wasn't the question. Come, come. I'll show you my work. First up is this one, it is called Cage Bananas. Wow, so there's a probably a deeper meaning behind this. Da, most likely an analogy for a mother nature feeling trapped. Right, Gunther? Hmm? No, it's just bananas I put in a cage. You know, I have been compared to other artists. Beethoven, Picasso, Leonardo da Vinci, and to that I say, who? Moving on! Miss Amy, is Gunther a man or a woman? Oh, Riley, it's not polite. And man, woman, extraterrestrial, illuminescent, godlike being, Isa is fine. Okay. I don't like labels. Would you put a label on pill bottle? No, I just simply am. Thanks for coming to talk to us, Chad. Though we appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. But before you say anything, I know Bex is a good babysitter and all, but I need this part-time job because Starbucks just laid me off because I was giving out free drinks to the chicas, and I may or may not have possibly passed out on the Starbucks counter from a sugar high eating my own concoction of cake pop, sugar cookie, milk, and frappuccino with extra caramel drizzle. That is not why you are here. And I may have worked under the influence of the devil's lettuce on one occasion. Okay. Okay, 17 occasions, but that doesn't mean I'm not a good babysitter. And Chad, this is not about your babysitting capabilities. Okay, but I'm a little concerned now. I have some questions. It is fine. We wanted to tell you we are together. Like? Yeah. Da. Like you're gonna get rid of me together? No. Listen, I know what Katrina keeps in the third drawer of her dresser, okay? I can't go out like that, man. Ch what? You were in my dresser? No, you specifically said I couldn't go in that drawer. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Chad, we're saying we're seeing each other. What? Oh. Okay, cool. About time. I am honored I'm the first one that you told. You are actually the last to know. What? After all I've done for you? I'm your kid's babysitter. It's pending now. <laughs> can't believe this, man. Oh, we know you can't keep a secret, Chad. We know you would have told everybody before we had a chance to. Wow, so that's what you think of me. What's that? Right after you told me I blasted the group chat. See? That. And I may have tweeted it. Oh, was she? Oh, okay. Oh, Bex is here. 
I'll get it. What? Oh my god, she's here. Quick, how do I smell? Like fishy crackers. And anxiety. Yeah, he does. My love for Bex is still immeasurable. I need to impress her. Do you guys have any ex body spray? Bex, thanks for coming over to take care of the kids. Yeah, no problem. My band, You're Not My Dad's Gate, got cut short because the place lit up. Oh, I got a little too rowdy or, or lit, as the kids say. <laughs> no, the place literally went up in flames. Uh, oh, oh, dear God. I... Stop that. Why are you smiling? My therapist told me I should try to smile more. Yeah, no, no, don't do that. Usually people smile when they're happy or something funny happens, and given the information you just gave me, you probably shouldn't be doing that. I thought it was kind of funny. She said smiling made me look more approachable. Yeah, no, it makes you look more like you're gonna bust your head through my front door and say, here's Johnny. Okay, I'm going to keep my cool. Yeah, just act normal. Da, and just don't say anything stupid. Da. All right, kids, I'll see you later. Have fun with Bex. Hey. Did you know that 43% of your total cells in your body are actually you and the other half is just foreign viruses, fungi, and bacteria? That's funny. <laughs> Here's your guys' food. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Oh, damn. What? Oh, I asked for no cilantro, but there's cilantro. Oh, I'll just call the waitress back over. We'll send it back. No! Why? It's fine. It's... I... It's fine. What do you mean? You hate cilantro. It's no big deal. For the love of God, please stop. It's no big deal. Yes, it is, okay? You call the waitress over, okay? She comes over. I tell her she screwed up my meal. Now she's embarrassed. She hates us, okay? She goes back to the kitchen. She tells Jimmy, the line cook, who screwed up my meal, to recook my meal, okay? He was on strike two with his manager, and now he's fired, okay? So he goes home to his pregnant wife and his toddler, Timmy, right? And he has to tell them that he's fired now, okay? He was also two years sobriety, and now he's back to the drink. This is getting kind of dark. Fast forward two months, his wife's had the baby, but Jimmy's drunk all the time, so she leaves him. Listen, and now Timmy the toddler grows up without a dad. He's an adult now, and he has nothing but resentment for his father. But why does he have that resentment, Kendra? Because of cilantro Karen at the restaurant 20 years previous where his dad got fired, okay? So now he grows up, and now his sole purpose in life is to find cilantro Karen, aka me, and kill me. Are you done? Yes, I am done, and I'm gonna eat this cilantro-filled meal so Timmy can grow up with a dad, okay? Oh. How's everything tasting? So good. Great. You need therapy. Yeah, I know. Finally. Mom! What? I don't want a nap! Come on, Mommy needs some alone time. You need a nap. I'll let you watch whatever you want when you wake up, okay? Dateline! Anything but Dateline. Okay! Okay. You know, you should really be locking your doors. Where did you spawn from? You don't want the next Ted Bundy to just be waltzing in here. Or an overbearing, no-filter mother who's probably late for a colonoscopy. What? Nothing. Where's Dad? I just left him in the car with the windows cracked. He's listening to his meditation music his therapist told him to listen to. Okay, well, I'm trying to have a peaceful afternoon. Good for you. With no distractions. You deserve it. Alone. You got it. I'm not even here. This is Monday. Hey, Mom! <laughs> what are you doing up? I just put you down for a nap. You never specified duration of time. Loophole. Nice one. Come and watch some Dayline with your Nona. No. Good day! Janet, reschedule my colonoscopy. Oh, my God. Who is that? I don't know. Ah, it looks like Karen is here. Oh my god, what the hell does she want? Who knows? You want to play rock, paper, scissors to see who gets to argue with her? Sure. Rock, rock paper, 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 grenade scissors. launcher. You can't just make up your- you know what, I don't even care. She's all yours. Thank you. 
Karen. To what do I owe this displeasure? Katrina. I see you chose to walk here instead of flying in on your broom. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice! <laughs> no, I'm here because one of the other duty moms at school informed me that your boys weren't including my son Hunter <laughs> in their recess activities and instead made him go play with that sarcastic wino mom's daughter, Riley, and her dolls. Hey! That is Miss Sarcastic Wino to you. Hmm. Why don't I call my boys so they can explain? Yeah, how about you do that? Boys? Da? Da, mother? Explain why you did not let Hunter <laughs> play with you two at recess. Oh, simple. We were playing playground warfare tactics. As one does, da? Da, and Hunter opted out of playing with us so he decided to play dolls with Riley. Pretty much, yeah. Hmm. Simple explanation. <laughs> well, they're obviously lying, right, Hunter? Uh. <laughs> See? You've rendered him speechless. Just tell Riley to keep her dolls away from my son. I can speak. It's all a facade, really. The more my mother assumes I'm shy or illiterate, the less she feels the need to converse with me. Which is good, because she is insufferable. As for the playground situation, why would I play silly, messy, aggressive games with the boys when I can have a spot of tea with Riley, Barbie, and Ken? We have very constructive, intelligent conversation. It's true! Yes. Okay. Oh, damn it. Chris! Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, I forgot to grab patatas at the store, so I gotta go, but the oven's preheating. The chicken needs to go in for about 20 minutes. Check it. If it's not ready, put it in for a few more, okay? Love ya. I put the chicken in the microwave. Wait, what? You'll be fine. Oh my god. Okay, the stove is preheating. <gasps> How long did she say? 20 hours? I don't know. Here she How to cook breast. I'm gonna set the house on fire. How does one know when the chicken is done? Should I just run away? How'd it go? The chicken is raw and I called 911 for help. Oh my god. Are we there yet? Ah. Ah, we're going to be late. How are you gonna be late going to the park? We have business to attend to. Oh, what business? Who gets to go down the slide first? Or who gets pushed off the slide first? What? Nothing! Okay, can you guys just play the quiet game or something? Oh, that is best game. What are you doing? Why are you guys putting socks in your mouth? That is quiet game. You put sock in mouth, whoever spits out last wins five dollars. I have gone days with sweet, sweet silence and it only cost me five dollars. I, I don't know if that's morally okay, Katrina. It's voluntary. I don't make them do it. I just bribe them. Okay, let's play something else. Okay, I spy! Sure. How can we play I spy if we do not have paintball guns? What kind of I spy you playing with paint? You know what? I don't know. Hey, you want to come play Nintendo with me? No. Come on! Oh my, I just beat it. I'll beat you. Yeah? I could easily overpower you. You want to see power? Hear those footsteps? What? Is that mom? Yeah. And I say we got about 10 seconds before she comes in here and I tell her you roundhouse kicked me in the face. What? No! Or maybe I caught you smoking the devil's wettest and you beat me to shut me up. You're insane. Maybe. Two seconds left. Okay, I'll play with you. What happened? What did you do? I... Nothing, mother. I just twipped. Oh. Okay. If you say so. Carry on. You can't unplug my controller when we're playing. Fine. And I get to be Mario. No, what? That's mine! Round two? No, no, okay, okay, fine. That's what I thought. Psycho. 
Oh, I'm so glad I chaperoned one for Riley's art gallery field trip. They even given away food like they do at the Costco. I'll be right back. Uh, all right, kids. We are in the German artist Gunther's gallery today. It's just Gunther? No last name? And last names are overrated. Beyonce, Cher, Queen. And one name is superior. Queen is a band! Why is this tiny human asking stupid questions? That wasn't the question. Come, come, I'll show you my work. Okay, go, 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 go. First up is this one. It is called Cage Bananas. Wow, so there's a probably a deeper meaning behind this. Da, most likely an analogy for Mother Nature feeling trapped. Right, Gunther? Hmm? No, it's just bananas I put in a cage. You know, I have been compared to other artists. Beethoven, Picasso, Leonardo da Vinci. And to that I say, who? Moving on! Miss Amy, is Gunther a man or a woman? Oh, Riley, it's not polite. And man, woman, extraterrestrial, illuminescent, godlike being, Isa is fine. Good day. I don't like labels. Would you put a label on pill bottle? No, I just simply am. Hey, dude. Hey, have you had one of these apples? Uh, no, not yet. Why? It tastes like that dentist office we used to go to when we were like 10. What? Pass me one. Yeah, here. Thanks. The dentist office by the hospital? You know, the one by the mall with that really creepy dentist. Oh, the one where he always hit on mom and gave us nasty flavored lollipops. Yeah. That is exactly what this tastes like. Right? Thanks for bringing the boys in Diamond Kettle. It's been a while. Oh, yeah, we took a trip down south to go see the boy's father. He's been so locked up. Oh, yeah, with work and stuff? Oh, in jail. <coughs> what? Oh, don't worry. It was just for theft. Ah. Uh, oh. Of a minor. <coughs> oh. League baseball collectible. It was one of a kind. Oh. You need to work on where you pause in your sentences. Oh, a collectible. Oh, well, that's not so bad. <laughs> yeah. And international tax fraud. <coughs> nice seeing you, comrades. Da. Hey, ain't no thing. <laughs> yeah, so where's that little cute blondie? <laughs> yeah, Texas and I got a bet going to see which one of us can get her first. <laughs> what? I said Texas and yep, I got he a... he heard what you said. I think he's just trying to refrain from putting you in an untimely grave or... He is constipated? Either way, I would not stick around. Hey, Chris, can you pass me some apple juice, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Here. Thanks. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get it. There we go. Thanks. Who are you? <laughs> it's your brother, me, Jacob. Okay, young man, that's enough screen time now. No, let me finish! Oh shit, we got a live one. Huh? Oh no. Listen here, young man. No, you listen! Oh my god, he wants an early funeral. He'll be okay if he backtracks and apologizes, though. I th hate this place! So what kind of flowers do you think he wants at his funeral? I don't think he's getting a funeral at this point. If that was one of us, we'd be lucky to get cremated in a bonfire up back. True. Yeah. Fine. 20 more minutes. Yay! What the f- Are you kidding me? Where's the justice? Where's the repercussion? You didn't even give him a one, two, three count! Oh, you guys are so dramatic. If that was one of us, we'd be practicing handshakes with the Grim Reaper. Oh, yeah, whatever. Are you serious? Oh, oh you little bitch.